I wanted to do an overview of the off-road machines I currently have and talk about each one briefly and if I had to keep only two which would be the two I would keep and which one would I sell and we'll start with the Ranger XP North Star Edition Trail Boss uh, as many of you have seen I have used this vehicle extensively around my property probably my wife's favorite machine because it has a cab that's heated and air conditioned it has ride command which is amazing um, has took this to Susquehannock Trail and it was just a performed it performed very extremely well on a groomed trail and that's probably as aggressive as I would get with this as a groomed trail I wouldn't take it on some of my more woodsy trails that I ride uh, it's I this really has turned out to be essential around my property and uh, I just am using it every day the next machine is my razor trail this is probably the big out of all the machines I've owned the Razor Trail 900 75 horsepower Ranger is 82 horsepower the Razor Trail has been the biggest surprise of any machine I've purchased tractor snowmobile ATV uh, excavator side by side this one has stunned me I've been surprised how well it rides the power to weight ratio is great on it how it performs an off camber it's very stable you would think because it's narrow it would be very tippy it is not great looking machine I just these two paint colors I hope Polaris never discontinues those paint colors I think they're outstanding this is the ultimate version of the trail it's got the Fox shocks three position Fox shocks ride command which is due to the economic conditions we're in hard to get ride command now which is sad awesome feature of polaris um, what i like about this machine is that i can ride it on 64 inch trails and especially because it's 50 inches wide ride it on the allegheny national forest 50 inch trails and take my wife right next to me uh, it just performs so well. I got to upload a video with my wife and I at Rocky Cab. Just a great machine. Miser on fuel. It has a sizable fuel tank. This will easily go the distance of any of my 1,000 side by sides uh, on the trail. It's just, I'm sorry, will easily comparable distance the range of fuel to an, a 1,000 ATV and it will go just about any place a 1000 ATV will go maybe even climb hills a little better a little safer the beast this is the powerhouse razor 1000 pro xp 182 horsepower i believe a ton of torque it's turbocharged it's a monster no doubt in my mind this is the best turbocharged trail side by side in the world only other turbo machine is a maverick great machine i don't think for a woods trail it compares to the razor xp i'm sorry the razor pro xp great color you know i've added accessories winch bumpers front and back roof windshield with a wiper fender flares doors with inner liners rock sliders my number one accessory you have to have on a side by side then a winch uh, it puts some mud flaps on it rear bumper i do have a rear windshield on it uh, this machine the suspension travel i think it's almost two feet in the front and just under two feet in the rear. The ride uh, uh, through the woods is just phenomenal. What's nice about this machine 
is that opposed to a Maverick, that you're sitting up higher in this machine, you have better visibility over your front fenders than you do, you sit much lower in the Maverick. You can turn your head and still get a rear view from this because you're sitting up higher. Also, um, ride command, you have cameras front and back. So if you can't see behind you, you can look at a camera. Just an outstanding machine. Just outstanding. So, which one of these machines is essential? If I had to have one machine, what is the one machine I have? Would it be the Razor Pro, which is the best turbocharged trail machine there is in the world? No other machine compares to that for off-road riding. I'm talking side-by-sides. Would it be the Razor Trail, 50 inches wide, 75 horsepower, 75 horsepower, 182 horsepower? Would, would, would the Trail, if I had to choose one machine, would it be the Trail? If I had to choose one machine that I was going to keep, would it be the, the Ranger, the Ranger XP Trail Boss Edition, Trail Boss North Star Edition, heated and air conditioned cab? Great looking tires and rims, dump trailer, very versatile on my property. Well, let's talk about it. If I was not trail riding, if I was not trail riding, the machine I would have to keep is the Ranger, without a doubt. I just use it around my property. Just about every night I go for a drive around my property during the winter when I can't use my excavator or tractor I'm using the Ranger to haul tools around you can see it has a chainsaw on it so around my property if I was going to have one machine it would have to be the Ranger if I was trail riding and wanted to do the 50 inch trails then no doubt the Ranger trail the Razor trail I would have to keep that because the Razor I can go on wide trails and I can go on 50 inch trails and the 50 inch trails I have less wear and tear on them less ruts and they're just beautiful if I was doing trail riding exclusively wasn't interested in 50 inch trails and I would keep that machine I am trading one of these machines towards a track loader the machine I am trading is The Razor Pro. Give you a better view. I firmly believe this is the best machine there is for Northeast wooded trail riding that's turbocharged. Best turbocharged trail machine. Polaris did just about everything right on this machine. I would put it up against any machine on the trail. The power is nonstop. Maverick may have more horsepower, maybe by 10, 11 horsepower. Honda, they don't make a turbocharged Honda Talon. Uh, Honda has a geared transmission, which is awesome. Great engine on it. But the combination of the suspension, the seating position on this, and the turbocharged engine, which gives you 182 horsepower, it's phenomenal add the position that you sit in when you're riding off the trail you're sitting up high great visibility ton of accessories to choose from um, again puts it ahead of the rest and the topper is ride command man until you have it you don't realize what you're missing that you have a whole cluster of gauges you have a navigation system where you can track where you're going plus anyone else with ride command you can share rides with people who have ride command on their phones or have ride command uh, in their machines. Having the stereo is a super plus. Never thought I'd use that on the trail. Susquehanna on the trail, we were listening to Dean Martin, my wife and I, for half of the ride on that trail. Just a phenomenal machine. Why am I getting rid of it? 
my age and where I want to be at this point in my life. For trail riding the way I trail ride, really the Razor Trail Ultimate does everything I need to do on the trail. And it keeps me at a safe speed. I find myself with this machine, I tend to push the throttle a little too much, go a little too fast in my mind. Does it handle it, y'all? Yes. But I'm 57 years old. My reflexes aren't what they were in their 20s and 30s. And I think it's time to move away from this type of machine and something that's a little safer. I also like that with the Razor Trail, when I'm riding with my companions, who most of them, the trail rangers, most of them are on ATVs, that's better suited to the speed that they're moving at. And I want to be with the, my, the trail rangers on the trail. I don't want to be racing ahead of them. And that machine keeps me going at a slower speed. So, this machine, the Razor Pro, is being is is going up for sale actually it's being traded that's it that's uh we're saying goodbye to a fantastic machine it's going to have another home i'm sure someone's going to have a lot of fun driving this machine and uh i enjoyed it while i had it had some amazing rides that performed ex performed extremely well but i'm trying to simplify my life have a little more room in the garage so this machine is going to be traded towards a track loader and you'll be seeing that on the channel soon and of course you'll be seeing the razor trail solely on trails when i ride and then the ranger xp around my property which is just really pleased with it have some more dead trees to take down dig out areas of the pond that are collapsing and uh, do some property maintenance some plus some plain plus some paid jobs off-site with the bobcat excavator and uh, my track loader that's it everyone thank you for uh, watching this video please consider subscribing to my channel 98 percent or more of my viewers are not subscribers hope you consider subscribing sharing the video with a friend sharing the video with a friend and uh, I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you and God bless. There is one thing I'm gonna miss on this machine and man, this gets my heart pounding even when I just start it in the garage. Don't know how well this is gonna come across. She is a thumper. <laughs> the powerhouse. I swamped this machine by accident. Water was over the passenger seat. It was canned down at a 45 degree angle. The Trail Ranger's jaws dropped. I put it in reverse. The clutch was full of water. It got an attraction to back this machine out of a mud hole. We were all stunned. Took the plug out of the CVT, drained it, ran the engine a little bit, put the plug back in. It was fine for the rest of the day on the trail cannot tell you enough what a fantastic job Polaris did on this machine.